Hello and welcome to the Golden Grove Central Districts Baseball Club, home of the Dodgers. We are at Iliaria Reserve where we have two baseball diamonds. The diamond up the top is primarily used for junior games as the right field is rather short. The diamond down the bottom is used for senior games. In the 1980s this facility was used for soccer and rugby games and there was one sliding here but for reasons unbeknown to us that has been removed. Down here is our bottom diamond where our club's 15 teams get to play. Baseball has been played here since 1977 and we joined the SABL in 1991. Today we would like to show you what it takes to prepare for a game of baseball by setting up a temporary fence. Each summer for over 20 years from October to late March, on most Saturdays and Sundays a fence is erected. There may be up to three games on a single day but there could be as little as one with that team both putting it up and pulling it down. Iliari Reserve hosts baseball both summer and winter with two different competitions. In round figures, the summer competition has 100 children under the age of 10 playing t-ball and modified baseball on Friday evenings, with another 100 players in the 10 to 19 years age group and another 100 senior players with both sexes represented in all age groups. There are a further 100 playing in the winter ball competition. These members have pride in their club and grounds. The surface playing area is amongst the best in Adelaide and we have developed a soil mix for our base cutouts with one of our sponsors that is now used by several other clubs. As a relatively young club compared to other SABL clubs that have been going on for more than a century, we are doing what we can with what we've got. We are just wanting to move to the next stage and this is to have a home run fence that doesn't need to be put up twice each weekend. A fence that is powder coated black so that it is less visible against the green grass. An adjusted plan to have three large gates each of three metre openings for when not in game use to allow easy access from any direction for others who may wish to use the grounds. Members of the club feel that because we haven't been around as long as other clubs and don't have the facilities some of the other clubs have, we are not respected. They feel as though there is something missing. Some of these other clubs that have permanent facilities are able to host school carnivals, cater for masters games, national and international series that bring in extra funds for them to improve their facilities further. They are able to purchase better training equipment and attract players from other clubs and perform better on the field. With a temporary fence, we sometimes find that by the time we have packed up all of the equipment, most of, if not all, the opposition have left. This means that equipment that has been purchased has ultimately come from the pockets of our players and supporters. If it takes less time to pack up after the game, the players can be at the club room sooner and interact with the opposition, keeping more of them around longer with a greater chance of them purchasing something from the canteen or bar, which are our two highest money earners. Therefore, what we propose for the club is a permanent home run fence to be erected in the outfield, which is highly beneficial for the club and its hundreds of members, but has minimal impact to the local community and residents. We trust that this short video highlights how important this venture is for the long-term success of this baseball club. Thank you for your time and consideration.